Hi, welcome. Today we're answering a question from Susan. Uh, Susan asked, I was diagnosed and shunted in 2006. How many revisions have your daughters had and do they have headaches? Whoa, Susan. Um, yes, my daughters have headaches. Um, I really think, and this is a personal observation, not a medical one, that um, since some of the cerebral spinal fluid that normally protects the brain is diverted by a shunt, I think the person with hydrocephalus tends to uh, possibly feel headaches more or get more headaches. That's not a medical opinion, that's a mom opinion, um, especially a mom with two daughters with shunts. However, uh, anytime you have a question about headaches, make sure you go first off and ask your physician about any headaches that your child may have. Some headaches can be uh, uh, like a migraine type uh, headache and your physician is your best resource for that because there are medications that can be given to help in the headache situation. So make sure your number one uh, source resource first of all is your physician anytime you have a headache. Um, secondly, uh, as far as revisions my daughters have had, my younger daughter who was shunted at age six weeks has only had about, it's either three or four revisions, I'm sorry I can't remember the exact count. Uh, she was shunted at six weeks and then uh, I think she had two more surgeries uh, at the age of ten and a half and because she was growing and um, they needed to, her shunt was uh, now out of the peritoneum and they needed to extend it. And she had another surgery immediately after that. And then she had another surgery when she was a senior in high school. And knock on wood, um, she has had none since then. Uh, my older daughter, who was shunted when she was four, has not been quite as lucky. Sarah has had a total of 32 shunt surgeries. Um, in the shunt world, there's people with many more than her and there's people with many less than her. And you're talking about two children of the same parents. Look how different the hydrocephalus is with both my daughters. Um, you know, one having many surgeries and one having a few. So you can see how it's a very individualized condition. Uh, hydrocephalus is um, and how different each person with hydrocephalus is. Uh, Stephanie, um, well Stephanie really didn't have any major problems uh, with her revisions. Sarah though would have, when she was seven, six years old, she had seven revisions in a six month period. So she spent almost her entire first grade in the hospital. Uh, she was fine in second grade, third grade, had a few more revisions, blah, blah, blah. It went on all throughout and has gone on all throughout pretty much her lifetime, even through college years and high school with revisions she's had to deal with. But we have just, um, when she needed extra help in school, we got tutors for her. We got uh, homebound teaching. We got whatever was needed for our children to help them succeed to be the best they could be and um, they have blossomed. Now they still do have headaches and that is concerning. I'm not saying I don't worry and they don't worry. Um, I try not to go overboard with the headache thing, but speaking for my family and my children, my uh, Sarah in particular, the one with most of the revisions, she gets a headache every time it rains, every time the weather changes. Uh, from cold to warm, any type of temperature drops or up and down, she seems to get a bad headache. She also gets bad headaches when she's under a lot of stress. And of course we worry about these being uh, shunt headaches. You always do in the back of your mind, but then your common sense takes over and you say, okay, is there anything else going on that I notice? What else is she having a lot of stress going on in her life? Uh, is it, uh, you know, if you have a daughter, is it, um, uh, you can get headaches with, uh, you know, that time of the month. Um, so, you know, you worry about all those things. If you have any questions, then you use time to ask your doctor if you are really concerned. Um, my other daughter gets headaches, not so much from the weather change, but she gets severe headaches really bad when she's stressed. 
as an example, when she was getting her master's, we, she thought she was having a shunt malfunction. She was under a lot of stress. She was in her finals, getting her master's. And she called us saying, I've got the worst headache of my life. So we drove down an hour and a half away to pick her up, drove her back to St. Louis, uh, got a CAT scan. The CAT scan looked normal. By the time she spent the night in the hospital, by the time morning came, she was totally fine. We were glad because she did not need a surgery. However, we were scared because we didn't know if she did need a surgery or not. So there's never any easy answers, and as hydrocephalus is very individualized, um, some people don't have a lot of headaches. Uh, a lot of people do have headaches, and I must say that that is a from my years running a support group, that has been a big complaint of children having headaches. And you know, it's really kind of sad in a way because the kids who have a lot of headaches, they don't really, I don't think they really know how nice it is to not have a headache. And it it's, uh, breaks my heart because, um, as you know, if you've ever had a headache, how you just don't feel like participating in something. and. Um, it's a hard thing to deal with having migraines and headaches and uh, I wish um, we had some better reasons for it but once again this is going back to our research initiative that the Hydrocell Association has uh, been involved in and uh, we are going to try to get to the bottom of a lot of these things and we can only do it with your help so um, stay tuned to our website please support the Hydrocell Association and our research functions and uh, we are doing this for you and um, from one mom to another. Uh, Till next time, see you later.